So research data management, I guess, is the is the whole process from first thinking of your of your project, when you design it, when you write the proposal, what data do you need, where does it come from, what type of IPR is involved, and then how are you going to use it, what type of data do you generate during your project, or do you collect during your project, and then how do you store it afterwards, and how are you going to share that data with, uh, with other people in the scientific community, but potentially also outside the scientific community. So there's, there's several reasons why I uh, want to share my data with others. Um, first of all, I think it's just a, a good thing to do um, there for sort of scientific academic reasons, replicability and, and um, transparency. It's good to have your data in a way where other, uh, accessible where other people can access it. Um, increasingly also funders require you to share your data. Uh, but there are also advantages as a researcher that are more, more immediate. Um, one of them is that if you share your data, more people can use it, and there's more chance that your, your papers based on that, pa on that data get cited. Um, also, uh, other people might be able to use your, your data in a way that generates impact, and the impact agenda is increasingly important. All right, so I created a couple of, um, of maps um, that are, well, one is a European map, one is a global map that identify different regions and uh, these maps are uh, have generated quite a bit of interest. People want to use them for different purposes, uh, sometimes to just have them as an illustration in a book or in a publication, sometimes to analyze their data to see where their locations or their data sits within these maps, um, and sometimes for more integrated modeling reasons. And so I used to get lots of emails from people saying, could you please share this data file with me? Could you please share these GIS files? And I would uh, reply and have a little opening spiel and then uh, upload the file or have it on a Dropbox server with a link. Um, and that would take quite a bit of time. It was interesting to hear why they wanted to use my data. But in the end, it takes quite a bit of time. Um, and so what I've done is I've uploaded those data files to DataShare. And now when people contact me, I can just say, here is the link. You can download the data here. And there's a full explanation of what the data is um, in the DataShare files. So that's a way that saves me a lot of time. Uh, and also now I have a, a record of how many times the data sets are viewed or download, downloaded, which is very nice. So the, the research data team, I think, is, is, has, been, has been great in supporting me to upload my, uh, my files. Um, the online material is sort of self-explanatory and gets you started. Um, but then I wasn't quite sure which fields to complete, and some of the fields didn't seem applicable to me. Uh, but I pressed the Submit button, and within a few hours, um, they would get back to me. I mean, very quickly. I was very impressed. And they would uh, ask me for further information and sort of gradually guide me through the additional changes that I needed to make to get the files uh, uploaded in a way that they were accessible for, for people who are not familiar with them. Um, and they were yeah, just very uh, helpful in in a friendly way, explaining and nudging me to do make minor changes. It was never a lot of work, but minor changes to uh, make sure that the final uh, package that was uploaded was as accessible as possible to other people. Certainly, when I, when I come across colleagues who are a bit like I was a few years ago with uh, portable disks stuck to their uh, computers or their data only on, um, on their laptops or on a Google Drive, I would say, well, have a chat with uh, the data uh, management team in the uh, in the university because there are much more sophisticated and better tools available that take responsibilities for your for taking care of your data away from from you uh, and on to the to the university central services um, and yeah it, it just saves you hassle and uh, and worry as well at least I'm very pleased that my data that I I'm convinced that my data is in a secure place and uh, also the data that I want to share is easily accessible for others